Hey guys, Brock Ashby here. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to get your first chin up. It's gonna be a five step process. The fifth step is actually going to be weighted. So that's exceeding uh, a body weight chin up, but we're going to take you through the steps on the way. I'm, I know it's raining outside. It's probably not the best time to do this video, but I've been wanting to do it for a while and I just wanna get it done. getting your first chin up is mastering the eccentric chin up. So the eccentric rep or the eccentric phase of a rep is the lowering phase. So what we're going to do is just get up to the top of the chin up by standing up on this step here or you can use a bench and just lowering yourself down. So it's going to look like this. Three, two, one. And down. So you don't want to try and pull yourself up. You just want to go three seconds on the way down. One, two, three. So that's the first step, the eccentric chin up. The second step is going to be the paused eccentric. So instead of just falling straight down three seconds, what we're going to do is pause at the top for two seconds and then lower yourself down for three seconds. Now, before you move on to the second phase, you want to do that first phase for around three to four weeks. So this is what the second one's going to look like. So one, two, and then three, two, one, and down. Once again, we're not pulling up, we're just lowering to the pause at the top. One, two, three, two, one. Now, when you've mastered that for another three to four weeks, you're doing that and you want to do six reps, you don't want to do any more, six reps or less. So in between three to six reps, I would say. Now you want to go for the assisted chin up next. So this is step number three. I'm gonna grab this resistance band and we're going to assist ourselves. So if you use a thicker band, it's going to help you more. So this has more resistance, so it's gonna help you more. This has less, so it's going to help you less. So depending on how skilled you are or how strong you are, then you can use that thickness. And as you get better, you can change from a thicker band to a thinner band. So with the assisted chin up though, we are doing the concentric part of the rep or the lifting and the lowering. So you put your foot in, you want to come around this side. So. Uh, when you're getting in, I'll start with the knot first actually. So you just grab the band, put it over, like that, and then you have the loop, and you just pull it through there. Now, when you have that, just put one foot in, and then that's going to help you up. So when you get here, you can put your other foot over it, like that. So your other foot goes over, and then this is going to help you. And then when you're finished, just don't smash yourself in the face and get off. So now, as you've mastered that for three to four weeks, or maybe even longer, if you go from a really thick band to a thin band, then you're ready to give your body weight chin up a go. That's just the same thing. So a few cues or tips that I want you to think when you're doing the chin up is thinking elbows down. So I don't want you to think pulling your chin up above the bar because that results in bad form and you just extend your neck to try and get a rep. I want you to think driving your elbows down to your hips or down to the floor and that's going to help you get up. So. Once you've mastered that, thinking arms down, actually one more thing, sorry, elbows down, one more thing I want you to think, now I'm getting so straight arms. 
So straight arms at the bottom of the rib. A lot of people will do chin ups like this. It's not a chin up. You're just doing a half rep, right? I want you to do fully arm extended all the way to the top. So dead hang and then all the way up to the top and no momentum. You're not swinging your legs up straight up. So lastly, once you've got that, you can add a weight like a dumbbell or most gyms have, uh, I don't have it on me at the moment, but a weight belt that you can put over. You can attach dumbbells to or weight plates. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a dumbbell. So it helps if you're a little bit taller. So conveniently I have this step here. Come here and you wrap this in and you lock it off with your leg. So it's safe there like that. And then you just do your chin up as per normal. So same rules apply, but you just have to hold the weight there and get up. So that's five steps. Well, four steps to get to a body weight pull-up, and five steps to get to a weighted pull-up. And when you start doing weighted pull-ups, maybe don't start on a 10 kg straight away. Start very small, use smaller dumbbells, and as you get stronger, you can lift heavier weights. Hope that helps.